Hello, this is Coach Andy. We are on week seven. Okay, we are in meeting two, and I think still white to move. That's fine. Let's. Uh, we have a couple problems today, so let's look at them. So it's starting from yeah. We will work on the our schedule first. Then there's one question outside of our schedule. We will talk about later. So let's look at the problem here. Three nine five. And the king is here. Okay, it's two move checkmate. Why two move? And uh, now let's look around. Yeah, first, yeah, when I analyze problem, first I want to see where the king can go. This king can go here. I think that's the only square he can go. Every uh, everything else is protected, protected. Okay, so and also guarded. Yeah, so that's the only square he can go. If we let him go out, now let's see. Is there any problem? Yeah, that may be a problem, right? If we let him go out, he is kind of like free outside, and he can attack. Uh, no, he is not cannot attack our knight. Hmm. So maybe we should let him go out. Actually, I see that. What what should we do? Okay, let him because our knight, this knight control this square. This knight control this square. So both square control, and these two knights are also you see are also protected. Pawn protect this uh, g4 knight and bishop protect g3 knight. So everything protected. So we need somebody go to middle. Also we want to take away this square. So because after him, we don't want him come back. So basically that means this rook need to go this way. Check. So do a check. Hold on. Uh, yeah. If we go out, now we can go here. That's a mate. Because we control this two square. We also protect this two square. That's a mate. Okay. Now let's think again. Because after we move the rook, we actually release more square. Not only this square, he can go. He can also go to here. That's another thing. So if we go here now, let's see which one can checkmate. We already control everything. This is square. So we need a knight to checkmate him. Going here, that's a mate. So we are done with this pro this plan. Okay, let's move on to second problem. Three, uh, four o six. The king is here. Yeah, we have queen guarding this way. We have pawn guarding this way. Only square he can go is this one. And another one he can move is maybe moving the knight. Okay, move the knight away. Now let's see what can we do. We have lots of pieces actually. Uh, right now this piece, this this can be discovered. Okay, so let me unhighlight. So this is the only square he can go. That yeah, we always concerned about that. Now let's look at the line, right? Which line we are controlling? So this is one thing we can discover possibility and uh, but after we force the king to here then this pawn is a problem <coughs> we cannot control that uh, oh it's, it's yeah we cannot control that pawn and also if after we discover maybe this is also a problem uh, I think maybe this is easy so basically we Oh no, hold on. This is not. Yeah, this is easy. So basically, when we do discover, yeah, we don't want to go here discover, because after you go here, king go here, then we have two problems we need to handle. It's that's too much. You cannot protect both. So we only want one problem. So after you go here, and um, hold on, where were knight? Oh, we need to control this square also. So that's also not good. Let's see. Yeah, this is not good. If you go here, he come here. Now we have this problem and this problem. Yeah, it's not good. So it's same thing as we go in here. So let me unhighlight. So we are concerned about this. We have a discover that's possibility. And uh, let's see what else can we do. We can do. 
uh, gave him a check in no uh, I don't think yeah gave him the queen I don't think it's good right now okay so let's see uh, what can we do taking the knight is not good okay so he will take us and to free so most likely we want this be used okay so this discover be used and uh, but we are concerned about okay so maybe this is the one so we jump here so we protect this pawn yeah I'm thinking I'm also thinking about jump there protect the pawn but jump there it block the queen a lot more so we jump here protect the pawn and uh, he had two choice moving the king or block with the knight block with the knight is easy after you take now this is a mate because the queen is guarding everything now so this is a mate so he cannot move the knight he had to move the king but after he moved the king because this is protected we don't need to worry about that we only need to worry about this square and this square so queen come over that's a mate okay guarding that pawn square yeah we have to discover actually in this position now let's move on 393 mm. so we only have three pieces and he has a pin this is controlled so basically the knight cannot move king cannot move only this pawn can move and uh, there's one issue here if you try to move backward force the pawn to move he can go here no sorry he can go here block your queen then you cannot check check this way knight can block so that's not good so we cannot move backward now what can we do and we cannot release the knight because he will check us then it's not to move mate anymore so that's two things let me highlight another thing is we want a pawn move so we cannot block him we we try to block him then the pawn cannot move nobody can do move then it's stalemate okay so that's the situation mm. Our queen had to be on this diagonal. That's for sure. We can't let him get out. Check us. So let's think. Oh, actually, we don't need to force him to move. Maybe we can check him. Yeah. So we can check him here. He cannot move the king out here to block with knight here or here. Doesn't matter which one. We just take. Yeah, go here, check. He go here. We take. That's a mate. Yeah, he can check us, but we can we made him. Yes, actually, five, three, three, four is yeah two more problem. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult because it's not first move is not check, but lots of time actually it's still check check. So if it's check check, it's easy. Three nine seven. Now king is here. We have the rook here, queen here, his queen is here. We'd like to him to take us, then we can go here, that's a mate. Now he will not take us. Uh, we cannot come here, check. He will take us this way. Let's see. Okay, this pawn cannot move, because it's stuck. King cannot move, this pawn cannot move. Only piece can move is the queen. And we are not afraid he take this. Uh, only question: If we move sideways, what can we do? Because I'm interested to go here, so I have to. F and also, I'm trying to stop slash this mate, so I don't want to move my king. Oh, my queen! Yeah, so just moving the king. Yeah, because we cannot move these two pieces. We don't want to move those pieces. So move the king. Now we c actually moving the king basically gave him a one more square. King can go here. 
If we take our rook, that's our plan, right? We go here, that's mate, queen block the king. If we move sideways, we take the pawn. That's mate. We go here, same thing, we take the pawn. Now the only place he can, only new valuation is he moved the king. But this way we will take check here because the pawn is no longer there. We have a helper. That's a mate. Yeah, so first, yeah, for this kind of problem, first I analyze where can we go, right? Where, what's our idea? Th this is the main idea, actually. We can let him take our rook. We will checkmate him. And yeah, actually, as I said a few times la in last two vi a few videos, yeah, if it's if you think like if it's black move, what can black move anything? No, in this position, black can cannot move. Black is already in Zhuge Zhuang. But we also don't like to move either. So we that's why that's the difficult part. We need to figure out a move. Three nine eight. King is here. We are guarding this line. Yeah, oh, I always emphasize you need to see the line, not just square. Okay, if you look at square, it's bad. Okay, we guarding here. We are guarding here, and we are guarding here. This point is blocked. So for the king, he can only move here and here. Only oh no, not here. Actually, we guarding this line too. So he can only move here. That's the only square we need concern. Let me unhighlight. That's the only square we need concern. So if he goes there. Right now, if he goes there, actually, we can go here and checkmate him. So, yes. Basically, that means we have to make a move, right? And uh, we have to wait for him to do something. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. That's a very interesting square we want to go. That's maybe our target also. Uh, but we have no piece to move. We cannot take pawn. That will be stalemate. We cannot take away d5, d4 square. That's stalemate. So what can we do? Uh, yeah, we cannot come here check right now because he has too many square. We have to wait for him move then checkmate him. Okay, now let's see where else can we check? We can check on the diagonal, but that that's not help us, right? Because he can get out. So definitely our queen has to stay on this line. So, and of course we want to look at that square too. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Can we move him backwards? Mm, maybe not. Yeah, I don't want to create another square. Yeah, if we go here, control this, but that square is not control. That square is more difficult to checkmate him. Okay, let's see. So we cannot take away that square. Maybe we can move our knight. Yeah. Uh, if we move, move our knight, then he will go here. Then it's not easy to checkmate him because we are not control this square anymore. Hmm. Okay. So because on this side, this three square controlled by the queen, so we have to stay here. Now we cannot take pawns. So that's a problem. Hmm. Yeah, looks like any place the knight move will stalemate him. Now what can we do? That means maybe we have to move this knight. <laughs> Where can we move? If we move knight, then the king has three square. Oh, uh, no, it's not working. Yeah, I'm thinking about check this way. If we do check, but he can go here or here. That's because queen cannot leave. 
Queen has to stay here. That's a more problem. Now he has a more square to go. No, cannot do check. Hmm. So, and we don't want him coming out from here. Now let's see, can we release other piece, right? Can we let this pawn move? <sighs> Moving the king. Where do we move the king? If we move the king, then... He will, his king will stay here. Then you have no check. Yeah, there's no good check because queen cannot check on this line. That's bad. So moving the king is not good enough. Uh, hold on. Can we move this back to here? I don't see a mate. Hmm. Oh, we are already attacking this pawn. So maybe we just take the pawn. Is that good? At some times. Yeah, well we go here maybe. Let's see. Now he come here out, we can take this way, checking the face, this control, we win. Okay, and if he try to go here, check on the corner, this two square, yeah, that's good, we control, so we win. So, yeah, we are already targeting this, sorry, we are already targeting this pawn. So basically, you move the queen here, we are attacking this pawn. Yeah, you're still guarding this line. You will definitely need to guard this line. Now you give him two square. Just you, yeah, because both sides kind of like in Zhuguzhuang, okay. And black definitely is in Zhuguzhuang because if he move, he got checkmate. White can move, but after white move, you will release some square, but you want control that square, okay. You want, yeah, if you can release some square, but that should be in your control. If you cannot control that square, then he is too free, so you cannot checkmate in two move. Okay, here he uh, he has one more square, but that's fine. And uh, both square, yeah, both place actually we go. We will take the pawn mate. Four three one. Uh, this time, yeah. Okay, so we have a queen guarding this pawn. We have this pawn guarding this line. We have here guarding everything here. Okay, pawn defend the knight, that's important. Knight defending this square. So only place he can go is this one. Uh, okay, so now let's see. So only square he can go is this one. That's the interesting part. Yeah, we need to figure out the problem. So first we figure out the problem. Where the problem? Okay, now if he goes there, actually you are checking it. Yeah, it's okay. So um, looks like it's the pattern. Okay. Yeah, black, if you switch the side, if let black move, black always in to go down. Actually, right now, if you go there, you can checkmate from the corner. This two square, we control, so it's, it's a mate. So he cannot go there. But we cannot move either, I think. Oh, can we move? Oh, we can move. No, we cannot move. If we move here, then he will check us. That's a problem. So he has to, to move, actually. He can move here, or he can move down there. Hmm. Okay. So when you think about both. Now if he moves this way we can checkmate. If we move pawn, we can checkmate from here. Okay, that's also fine. Oh no. Yeah, that's also fine because that's actually protection of our pawn. So if black move, black lose. But if white move we don't want to move our king. 
that's the problem if we move king then he will push pawn we check he can go down it's not mate we don't want to move our king we don't want to move this pawn i don't think so we don't want to move this pawn and can we move the knight that's another question right uh okay maybe we can move the knight no if we don't want to move the knight move the knight we cannot control that square that's the checkmate square that's bad so let's see what can we move which piece can we move if we move this pawn then we will release this square then we fail okay we cannot mate i don't see a one more mate so we cannot move this pawn yeah so basically which i try to look at each piece can we move it or not I don't think we can move this pawn after taking the knight. It's too free. So this two pawn cannot move. Have to stay there. Uh, as I said, moving the king, then we release this square. He will come down. Then we don't have check. That's bad. And I don't think we want to give him the pawn hmm. now let's see we want okay we want to control the pawn we also want to look at this square so that's the square we want we'd like to go there and checkmate him so moving the knight let's try moving the knight moving knight anywhere looks like we cannot checkmate him yeah we can create some check but it's not made because we the queen cannot go there anymore so that's bad we don't want to move the knight either oh hold on who is oh yeah we are protecting this pawn hmm. now let's think if we give him the pawn where can we where should it be our queen can be checkmate yeah looks good so our queen can be here actually so if we take our pawn if our queen can go there then we will be checkmate so let's do a check okay just test the water now he has three choice king go here pawn go here we know both choices right we know the mate is here and here and the third choice is king take our pawn but we are looking at this square right so that's the idea so we can come here that's a mate checking the face it's protected by the pawn checking the face look at these two square controlled by our king it's a mate okay so yes this way we come down here check on the corner this way block we come down here now the pawn is protected actually and uh, regarding this way sorry regarding this one that's a mate okay so yeah the idea actually coming up when we s assume something okay we assume w he can take our pawn where can we checkmate right so we can checkmate from here then we come up with a solution okay yes this is yeah w this is old idea we still use it this is also old idea we still use it but this is the new idea let's give us a hint why where we force the mate okay this is the last problem and uh, uh, okay there are lots of pieces I believe it's not that difficult 
so we have the piece we can use okay one two three maybe this pawn maybe this the queen definitely okay so also what we need to think about is this two okay maybe sometimes yeah sometimes we may be able to take the pawn okay now let's see I think it's easy actually yeah, that's why I always say yeah so we are already guarding here okay we'll control this so yeah here we don't have no need to give up the knight I think so we just do a check queen protect knight yeah do a check then this king has two square go here or here right we I, I think I already talked about maybe five times I don't know at least five times okay you check in the face you look at these two square okay forget about any other things okay just look at these two square when you check it in the face I call this face okay like punch the king in the face okay checking the face these two corner square and this one is already blocked so he has only this one so he had to go there then we just need to using this line right that's why I before I solve the pro start to look at the problem actually before I thinking I just mark every every piece. Just look at every piece I will use. This all oh this one I use. Okay. Actually, I don't in this position. I don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Okay. I only need a knight, queen, pawn, rook. Okay. And also, I look at the possible line we can open. Okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah. When you solve a problem, yeah, you can think, jump over, think your solution, or you can just first make some inventory okay of what's available to you yeah we definitely don't need to consider about this rook okay it will not come in to work in two moves it's never come in and we don't need to consider about this piece because they are blocked okay this bishop may be useful queen may be useful for black to defend yeah rook definitely is useful for black to defend okay so yeah actually this is easy one so just check go down there and checkmate um yes uh, as i said before there are two ways to ask questions okay and um one is on wechat okay if you know chinese and you can download the wechat application and uh, add me okay there's some place i think there's uh yeah if you you should know me already if you know chinese okay so yeah, you can add me and um, yeah, if you don't know my ID on WeChat, contact me, send me email, I will give you the ID. And um, then I will add, ask, uh, add you into the group. So you can ask the question, ask your question in that group. Okay, the second way is go to this website, okay, seeing chess parents, my chess parents blogs. Okay, so there's a three, f yeah, three, three, four tab, okay. So go to this website and uh, look at the recent week post. I, every week I post a schedule. So look at that schedule. Uh, that's, uh, yes, that post. Do a adding a comment here. I think. Yeah. Yes. Let me click on it. Yeah. You can. You can leave a comment. Okay. So basically, add a comment. Then I will see it. Yeah. Before I post anything, before I actually before I recording the video, I will look at a comment. And um, the best thing, yeah, if you want to reap the greatest benefits from this video course, you should do the problem first. Okay, that's why I always suggest some question, the schedule before, yeah, at the beginning of the week. Okay, you, I want you to do the problem, okay, to try it at least, try your hands on them before you listen to my video. Otherwise, yeah, it's not may not be that helpful okay because if you want to listen to the answer that's not answer is nothing okay I'd, I almost never repeat the answer for you okay so I don't look at answer actually I don't look at the problem beforehand okay so I don't know the problem yeah that I want to you see how I solve the problem that's more important okay the approach is more important how you go when you face a problem you never think how you approach it how you look at your pieces lot yeah basically create an inventory of your f available forces right also look at the opponent escaping square that's important look at the lines that's also important because important lines al always give you some hint yeah and try to not look at the square okay 
But if you learn out of idea, yeah, of course you want you may want to go through each piece or each square, try to see anything obvious. Okay, and um, yes, sooner or later it's the answer will hit you. If yeah, if you cannot figure out one problem today, you can figure out to try it again tomorrow. That's uh, how we learn. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. I will see you next week.